everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new my name is dream and today is gonna be another great video because we are still talking all things back to school so for my daughter's library we are in her room but I like to switch it out to go with the different seasons holidays all of that stuff so back to school is no different so I have I'm gonna share with you guys the special books that I like to add to it to just incorporate all of the back to school feels and things so we're just going to jump right into it. Remember, I will have everything linked down below, but let's get started. The first book is School is Cool. Love this little book. Um, we got this last year. Another thing, I don't just, I have purchased books throughout the year. So maybe each year I'll buy one or two new ones. And that's how our library has grown. But um, love this one. A really sweet story. This would also make a great um, teacher gift if you guys do like back to school little teacher gifts. I usually like to give them a book that they can read to the class and maybe some of their favorite markers. So something small, not too big, but love this one. School is cool. Next up, we have The Crayons Go Back to School. This is a new one to our library, but we have quite a few of the crayon books. Um, another really sweet one, just kind of going through your day of going back to school. What are you going to wear? My daughter wears a uniform, so that's pretty easy to pick. But just all of the things that, um, what, do you, what do you think you're going to learn? All of that stuff. So a really cute, sweet book. And they have a series of books, and we just love them. Next up, my little girl will be going into second grade, and we love these for all of the holidays, all of the things. So this one is the night before second grade. Um, just prepping, preparing, all of those things, just getting them ready and excited for the school year. So another great read. Love to read these the night before we start, you know, a new grade and this is going to be a great one. Um, we have, like I said, we also have the night before first grade. This will be a really good read now. Um, this is our new one that we added to our library this year. This is one that we had last year, but loved it to add this to her back to school library. Another thing, um, reading, uh, making best friends, being buddies, all of that stuff. I love to have those kind of books also incorporated in my back to school library. So this Fancy Nancy Best Reading Buddies book is really sweet, really cool. Um, this is a simpler one. So your little one, it's something that they can read um, by themselves if they are in, you know, that level one reading stage. So love this really cute book. We have the Splat the Cat Back to School Splat. These are always fun, entertaining, just good reads. Um, we have quite a few books in that Splat the Cat series. So love this one to our um, reading library. Um, along with that, like I said, going back to school, maybe your, your child will have some of their friends in their class. Maybe they won't. So a big portion of that is making friends. So love this one. Um, just goes through the steps of how to, how to make friends. And um, even though in the beginning of the school year, a lot of those friends may be strangers, um, they may have a few that trinkled over from the other grades. But by the mid-school year, even and definitely by the end, and a lot of those friends will be best friends. So love this sweet little story. We also added this one. This one is about the 100th day of school, but I just like to add it in my back to school library. It's a fancy Nancy read. Um, love these. Also good reads for those beginner readers. My daughter absolutely loves these books, um, What Should Danny Do? And this one is centered on school days. If you don't know about these books, there's Danny and Darla. So those are the two that have these series of books. But these books are kind of where you choose your ending and you kind of choose your story. So there's several different stories. You could read this five times to your kids and never have the same um, story outcome or the same as story. So love these. These are so fun. Um, the stories are, at, are as long or short as you want them because your child decides, makes the choices throughout their day. So this one is centered around school. So a great addition to our back to school library. 
Next up, we have this off to kindergarten one. We've had this one in our library for quite some time. And it's just a sweet story about, you know, starting school, all the things to expect, all of that. I like to put out the back to school library in the beginning of August. Um, we typically here in the Dallas, Texas area, we live in a suburb outside of Dallas, but my daughter goes to school um, early to mid August usually. So I like to have these out there just to get her excited, get her going, get her um, kind of riled up for the new school year. And then I love this book. We have had this book for quite some time. It's Sophia Sparks. It's just about being inventive and using your imagination and being creative and coming up with fun ideas. So with going back to school, this book just sparks that thinking, um, that eagerness to want and learn all the new concepts that they're going to learn in that new grade. We also have Peep the Cat, Too Cool for School. We have a few of these in the series. Love our Peep the Cat books. They are a fun read. Um, Pete, you know, he is just too cool for everything. But um, this one is just really cute and fun and um, just a great read for your littles. And then the last one for our library, this is a new edition, but Kids, you know, going back to school, just being nervous. They don't really know their teachers. They don't know the new friends that may be in their class. This one goes over first day jitters and how, um, you know, they may be nervous about certain things, but in the end, it's not that scary. And their feelings are also valid because sometimes we're also scared to start new things and begin new stuff. So it kind of goes over all of those things for those first day jitters and just a great addition to your back to school library. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully if you also do a library in your home, it gave you some cute ideas of books to add. I always, and we need to, we always like to incorporate two tons of books from the library that's also a great source so some of these books maybe you see them but you guys can go and see if your local library has them um, I will link like I said everything that I can online I buy pretty affordable books typically my spots are Amazon from Scholastic but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys with a whole new one very soon bye everybody Thank you.